Hey guys, Transformers from 5000 here. Uh, yeah, third Studio Selects video already. It's really going quick. Um, I'm really enjoying making these videos actually. Hope you guys are enjoying them too. And just got a quick message to say before the video starts. Firstly, thank you again for all the support. It's been amazing. If you do enjoy these videos, please do share them with people, you know, friends, family who you might think will enjoy these videos. And, you know, the general Transformers community really does go a long way to help spread my channel um, and I really do appreciate that. Uh, I've got shout outs at the end of this video as well and also um, I will be uploading a lot of Transformers related videos this month for Halloween so please do stay tuned. I've got a brand new stop motion coming especially for Halloween so um, do set your calendars. More updates coming on that in the uh, coming few days, weeks. So, um, yeah, so Studio Selects video three. Um, let's get straight into it. So we've got four deluxe figures, two Voyagers, and uh, one lead class figure again. Um, so the first one would be to take the RC uh, triplets, a three pack, and turn them into the um, the Sega Transformers Human Alliance uh, drones. On the TF wiki, it just states they're called motorcycle drones. And trust me, if you play the Human Alliance game, you know how annoying these drones are. At least I find them annoying. Oh my gosh, they just jump in the air and just kill me every single time. Um, anyway, um, yeah, that's why I spend so much money in the Human Alliance game, because the motorcycle drones are just my worst enemy. Um, that's why I just don't have any money left. <laughs> um, but anyway, we take the RC Troopers and we colour them black, green and purple. Uh, so we could double it from a, a deluxe figure to Voyager by including six drones instead of just three because you know there's a lot of drones in that game um, but anyway colour them black green and purple um, they are all modeled after RC you know I don't think they're Chromia or Elite One but you know so we could have all drones as RC or just keep them Chromia Elite One and um, RC uh, repaints the next one would be to take Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe, colour him red and change his head sculpt, turn him into Swerve. Absolutely love Swerve. Swerve is actually making his debut soon in my expanded universe, so stay tuned for that. Um, I really think Swerve would be... You know, Swerve is well due an update as many characters are on Transformers toy line. Um, so I'd love to see Swerve make a return. So we're going to take the Studio Series Roadbuster, Hopefully add a few more accessories like his saw, um, some more guns, that'd be pretty good. But um, colour him like an orangey, browny yellow and turn him into Track Battle Roadbuster. This was a figure released back in Dark of the Moon and um, also kind of basing him loosely on his concept art. I think that would be an interesting take for Roadbuster. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. Next one would be to take the Revenge of the Fallen Jolt and actually recolor him into his Dark of the Moon colors. So his Revenge of the Fallen was like a blue and silver, whereas his Dark of the Moon was more like a, a grey and black. Um, so I think recoloring Jolt into these colors would be very interesting because Jolt wasn't actually in Dark of the Moon, so you know, I guess he probably won't actually make an appearance in the main line since he wasn't in the film. But uh, who knows? I could be wrong. Next, we would take the Studio Series Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie and uh, recolor him, him into his G1 colors. I think I think it was Prime One Studios who actually did do that. Actually, uh, I can't remember which company it was, but there was a company. It might have been DLX. I don't know, but um, there was a company who released Blitzwing and they released another variant in, in his G1 colors. So I think that would be interesting in the toy line. Um, yeah, I think that would be pretty good. Next we would take the Sentinel Prime and definitely give him his sword and shield, but give him a different sword and shield. Give him like an Energon sword and an Energon shield. Colour him into his G1 or animated colours, his blue and orange. That would be great. And maybe retool his head so he doesn't have a beard, but he has that massive planet sized chin. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, seen like a live action animated Sentinel or G1 Prime, that would be awesome. So the leader class figure, um, this isn't actually a leader class figure but we can make it into a leader class figure. Um, this has been done officially before, not in the leader class assortment, but back in the days of Beast Hunters we had Legion class figures and 
they upscale them into deluxe and Voyager class uh, range that they were Predaking, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Smoke Screen, Twin Strike and Windraiser. Now what I'm suggesting is that we take the Revenge of the Fallen long haul and upscale him and repaint him into payload, repaint him yellow. Um, so many of you may be aware that the Revenge of the Fallen long haul is way too small. Um, there is a knockoff company, I forget which one it is, um, but there is a knockoff company who upscaled the Constructicons and they are very good, but obviously they're expensive. So I think upscaling long haul into leader class assortment, so he's bigger than Optimus Prime and round about the same sort of height as Megatron, that would be perfect. Um, yeah, I think that would work well actually get payload into the toy line and um, colour him yellow and bits of red I think that would work perfectly okay so I'm gonna go on the shout outs now um, let's go so uh, some of you have suggested some of these figures that I've said in this video uh, I don't remember who said what but I know who has um, suggested ideas I believe I've got everyone if I have missed anyone please comment below and say you have missed me you did not give me a shout out and i will give you a shout out in the next video um but yeah uh so shout out to uh, zero g havoc yt uh, mr fedora film uh ben opelka love vol and uh super omega prime mk2 so yeah thank you guys for your contributions uh yeah i didn't think of some of the figures in this um definitely i didn't think of sentinel prime uh, that was that was interesting. That was yeah, that was good. I do like the idea of having a live action Sentinel Prime. Uh, but yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please leave a big thumbs up, uh, comment again, share everywhere you can. Um, stay tuned for the next video and be sure to stay tuned for updates for the Halloween special. And we've got more Halloween videos coming. So until next time, transform and roll out. Thank you.